Thank you. Um, so I wanted to um, ask about, and I uh, ask about female sexual dysfunction. I just uh, said it briefly, but maybe Dr. Kirk, uh, Kurtzman, if you want to uh, go into a little bit more detail about what female sexual dysfunction is. Sure. Um, well, before starting with dysfunction, I think it's important to understand what function is, because the number one question that happens when people come to see any of us is women will say, am I normal? Um, do I look normal? Uh, do I smell normal? Am I normal in how many times I want to have sex? Or I only think about sex once in a while, is that normal? And I really think it's important to recognize that every, more, every woman herself can really have the power to define what is normal. I think uh, for me, sometimes it's very challenging as a male uh, dealing with a female in a health setting, and I think it's important for women to understand, especially for desire, that very often there's this uh, societal pressure to have desire and sexual function as defined by a male paradigm. What that means is, um, in really simplistic terms, is men are much more driven by biology. Uh, they have high testosterone, they have high drive, and I always joke and say they're kind of lurking around every corner looking for sex. Um, and they have this spontaneous desire. I sometimes find that I have to give women permission to be neutral. And sometimes women start off as neutral, and really they can take it or leave it. Uh, it depends on situation. They may be stressed with work or with uh, childcare responsibilities. Uh, sometimes they need, they need to understand that they can be responsive, that when the situation is okay, they respond and they're aroused and they're interested, and that is a completely normal paradigm. Uh, when you talk about sexual function, you talk about arousal, you talk about desire, you talk about orgasmic response, and uh, these vary about uh, medical conditions, and sometimes medications that women are taking can impact that. Sometimes situation, stress, fatigue, children uh, can impact your response as well. So I think it's important to understand that um, when we talk about dysfunction, um, we need to know what everybody defines as, as, as normative function, and every woman should really think about that in themselves. Sometimes they compare themselves to what is supposedly happening in the media, or what their girlfriends are telling them, and that's not always accurate. So um, I spend most of my time talking about what their perceptions are, their false perceptions, or their, their perceptions about sexuality that they get. And I would tell you that um, the next time you're in Barnes & Noble or you're looking for a magazine, look at the, the books, the magazine covers. These are the messages that we're sending our young women. Uh, what they should look like, what they need to look like, what their body should be like, what they should be thinking about. Uh, and it's very challenging. Um, so I think it's important to empower women to define their own normal and what feels comfortable for them in terms of uh, frequency and desire and responsivity. And then when you talk about dysfunction, you really talk about a variety of different stages. Uh, I'm not only a clinician, but I'm also a sex therapist as well, and I think it's important to look at the balance, the balance between medical issues, veins, arteries, nerves, hormones, medications, as well as the psychological impact, the messaging that we're getting. Uh, the partner messaging, sometimes it's not always supportive and wonderful. Um, stress, fatigue, other things certainly have a lot of impact. So you can have an impact on the desire or, or your thoughts. Uh, you can have uh, problems with orgasm, like it's not as strong as it was, or it takes too long. So that's frequency or latency, as well as arousal. Uh, you're not getting aroused as much, or your brain is aroused, and your body is not responding. Or the reverse, your body is responding, but your brain is kind of turned off as well. So it's um, an important concept to marry both the medical issues and psychological issues uh, that women are experiencing. 